Say hi. Come here. Come here in front of the camera. Take it out, the chicken. Skip. Skip. Go out. Go out. Hey. Hey. This thing, ne? Skip. Why must he eat that one? This is I'll make puppies here. Still not boiled. Okay, this is our outside kitchen. The guys will eat this one today. You cannot eat this one. Yeah, guys let's get started first things first fencing off the perimeters it's very important in our village uh, or any village area to keep the creepy crawlies out and unwanted visitors out and then us safe that's very important this guy here is the master in fence making he just knows how and uh, he's very good with his hands he knows all the tips and the tricks in the world of fence making. This is my brother, you guys. He's our youngest um, uh, of my siblings. His name is uh, Raphael, but we just um, call him Bones. Yeah. So here they are just spanning the wire across the fence. This fence is 50 meters long. Um, it actually um, more than 80 of the part that is uh, built in built up in brick uh, like you're entering the fence this is a very long fence you guys so here the guy is just walking back uh, making sure that he has got enough uh, wire to make the fence and yeah let's start and see So today um, it was so hot, uh, the sun was scorching us you guys, it was, you could feel, it was, it was hot, you know, when it's dry, windy and hot, it was white with heat, <laughs> but this is the thing that I love about France Fontaine, you know, I love its elements, the heat, the wind, when it rains, yeah. The skies are clear and blue, blue, blue. And um, this type of weather um, produces the most spectacular sunsets in the most beautiful uh, sunrises. And when it's um, moon, uh, when it's a full moon, it's so clear. You know the visibility. It's so clear that you can see a needle on the on the ground. It's like that. And I love this weather. But the down thing is when you have to work like this, um, <laughs> nobody wants to stay in the heat. So we would prefer to work very quickly and come out of the heat as soon as possible. So our working hours would be around uh, from 6 to 10 and then from 5 to 8 in, at night. So yeah, that's like that. that. So here... Um, we decided to uh, fasten the wire uh, on the poles itself using another wire 
you know like um, from the back because we could we couldn't uh, put it inside the holes that was pre-drilled on the poles because the guy that made the concrete or concrete the uh, the poles actually made a mistake of not aligning the the, the poles accordingly so now the guy was just doing the uh, like on a normal um dropper you know how you do it on a normal hood and dropper they just cut in and then pull the wire like this so this is this is um a option or plan b you know <clears throat> you can do this also on a metal pole it it will not uh, slide off you know for projects like this i um, normally like to use the house guys so everybody here is uh, either family or very very closely um, acquainted with our family so here the guys are, are pulling the the diamond mesh um yeah so they did this thing in in over over a weekend you know clearing and cleaning of the yard was a bittersweet mo uh, moment for me it was very emotional indeed it because i reflected back uh, to my childhood memories and uh yeah all these stones all these trees they yeah you guys you guys it's deep so the house was uh, deserted or actually vacant open for a time being uh, so naturally with the rain and wind and everything uh, the soil got um, the top soil got eroded away so we had to um, fill it in with lots and lots and lots of um, sand and everything so it was intense um, uh, labor intensive um, clearing and cleaning that took place for a couple of days before we could really start I was born and raised here, so was my mother. This house was among the first brick houses in France Fontaine. She belonged to my elders who were church people and highly respected in this community. Many people came through that gate and ate and drank from my great grand's hand. May they all continue to rest in peace. This house has many stones and thorny bushes as can be expected from a hillside um, house it's on the it's located on the foot of the hill just opposite the church as they prefer but they all know my secrets all these stones and all these trees i daydreamed under these trees i planted the very big one there there in front of the house with my own two hands and that is the only tree that actually took on. This place has so much sentimental value in my life, but most of all, it brings me fond memories of my childhood. But now it is my time and change is inevitable. I just hope I do her justice. I welcome you all to the great hillside house in Franz Fontaine, my homestead. So this is Maya Khan. Pleased to meet you. Please do subscribe, like, share, video. Sorry, can we go there? Aro. Oh, you know, quite a number of hairs. I'm asking how many hairs. Oh. How many hairs? 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 How many Oh, <laughs> 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 Plan B is
in our next video you'll see how the guys are building this uh, north facing fence of ours so i hope you enjoyed the video and please do subscribe goodbye you guys bye